Um, so I wanted to, so, so you go into to college and don't get into the Fisher School of Business um, or whatever it's called. See, I don't yeah. even know. Yeah. Right. So and, I graduate and then I do a month in Australia. Wow. And okay. It was what made you, horrible. Well, what made you go to Australia? We can't skip that part because that's- I just wanted problem. to go. It was a before life starts trip. I went by myself and um, did a month and it was the worst. I mean, it was great, but everything that could go wrong went wrong. Oh, geez. Um, and that's actually, it was a really important trip because it, it mellowed me out. That was the catalyst to me being the Katie that everybody knows now because everything went wrong. Um, and I'm, I'm sitting there having an epiphany. I'm in the outback. Uh, I had just done all these hikes and got really sick and had to take an eight hour car ride to the closest hospital. And I'm, and it's the world cup. So no one's paying attention to me. So I'm laying there on the uh, hospital bed with IVs in and stuff. Oh, look at that. That's terrible. Oh. Um, and I'm like, you know what? All of this preparedness I did, all of this planning, all of this prep. And it, and, and it didn't mean anything. And also I'm fine. I'm fine. This sucks, but I'm fine. Yeah. So it was one of those where I was like, why get upset? Why stress out? Why be uptight about something that you can't control? Life is going to happen and you have to be able to have a sense of humor and laugh about it. And I look back now and that, that trip was hilarious, but I was not having a good time. Right. But looking back now, I'm like, this Katie would have been like, what next? <laughs> so, so it's interesting because I don't, I don't, we've, we've communicated a couple times, right? You know, I don't, I don't really know, you know, you, but you know, in college, you were the mascot. So you have that, like the sense of humor, but then you also have like, you're like straight or you straight arrow. Like I didn't start drinking until I graduated college. I sat for, I took all night classes because they were smaller and the people that were in the classes wanted to learn. They wanted to be there learning yeah. rather than the big day classes with 400 people and give a shit. Yeah. I, that is the biggest thing for me. I think um, one of the things that I, it's annoying yet I'm really proud of it is that I'm never done learning. I actually want to know the things, whatever it may be. Um, I'll see something. I'm like, what, what is that? And I'll just go research it and do some digging. And if I can't find anything out, ask Andy Mills, good Lord, I bugged the shit out of that guy. You know, um, I'm just curious. I just want to know stuff. Yeah. Um, and I love it about myself, but also it's, I'm so, I exhaust myself, Yeah. but <laughs> It makes me better at my job. I, I, you know, I'm busybody. The time flies, but, um, but yeah, I was, I'm a lot of different things all at one time. So when you go to Australia and you have that experience, that's kind of when like, it's everything kind of your guard just comes the, down with life. The just uptight part of me yeah. started to fade away. No, she's still there. <laughs> um, but she only comes out now if I'm hungry or tired. Yeah. 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 I quit my own mortgage company for a day and a half over Wendy's. <laughs> like I didn't come back. Like I left and wouldn't come back for a day and a half because I was so mad. <laughs> you have to feed me. We'll, we'll have to get into that. We'll have to get yeah. into that story. So yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. So you go out to Australia, you have the this terrible experience. Uh, obviously, yeah. now looking back, it's good and bad. Yeah. So, I, so there's certain things where you're just like, oh my God, I'm gonna go have this experience. It's gonna be wonderful. And um I did book it with a with a, a Apple tourism or Apple whatever, because I was like, I am gonna be by myself. It's my first time out, so I do want to be with a group um for some security, but it ended up being all retirees and newlyweds, and I was like, hi guys. <laughs> by myself. Um, so we would do these tours. Um, and you know, you, I hiked to the top of the Sydney Har Harbor bridge, like very cool. And you get there and you're like, this is awesome. Isn't it? Oh, I'm by myself. <laughs> so I didn't have anyone to share it with, but then yeah. also I look back and I'm like mad at myself because I pissed away so many opportunities to just be in the moment because I was letting the bad experience win me over. And I, that was one of those things where I look back and I'm like, what a jackass I was. And how dare I not be in the moment? 
I, yeah. I spoiled it for myself and that's my fault. That's on me. Yeah. And that's unacceptable. And I don't want to do that again. So, you know, it's, it's important to be in the moment or, you know, you would get to the outback and you would get up two hours before dawn to hike to a spot to watch the sunrise. And it was great. But all I kept remembering was it's cold. Now, does, does, has that helped you now? Oh you know, yeah. One I'm one of those people, with... especially with technology, like, and I think it's part of me too, having grown up in a time without the technology. When I go to concerts now, I just feel bad for everyone. Like you're missing it. They all, they watch it like this. I'm like, you're, you're missing it. Yeah. It's never as good as just being here. Yeah. You that's know, not, someone not, else, let someone else video it. And if you like it that much, go back and watch it. But just you be there, you know? Yeah. Um, so uh, it, it, it's like the people that say, you know, hashtag picture doesn't do it justice. Well, then just watch. Right. We're missing it. Keep it here. Keep it here. Yeah. And I, I take that seriously because I did that to myself, even without technology. And what a shame. What a shame yeah. that I wasn't in the moment and living living it it's, and taking it in it's so hard i mean it's one yeah. of the things i struggle with i mean i just got back from memphis this past weekend and you know going to um the civil rights museum and and where mm -hmm. um martha martin luther king you know got shot and you know just it, just taking that all in taking in a new city i've never been there taking right. in you know the food and the culture and, and all of those things we all struggle with that and um, you know, for me as a real estate agent, I think, cause I got started when I was 22, all mm -hmm. I knew was to be on this, this, yeah. meant, this meant money. Right. And if I was on this, then money was potentially coming in. And I had a pager. Me. You could have paid <laughs> star 911 emergency. <laughs> that's awesome. But, but for me, like, that's something that I struggle with. I'm, I still mm -hmm. work on, you know, still trying to get yeah. better at just putting it down and being there. And it's one of those where the way I try to look at it is if I'm doing that, I'm making the moment about me instead of the moment. Mm. I'm making whatever I'm doing about me rather than where I'm at or that food that I'm eating or that concert that I'm seeing by, yeah. by doing all that stuff. I've now made it about me and that's not why I'm here. That's not why I'm but, here. Yeah. So just trying to keep that in mind that that's not why I'm there. I'm, 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 I'm there for the thing. Yeah. Whatever it is. So, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So, yeah. You go, so you go out to Australia, uh, end up coming back. Um, oh, I also, being a very intelligent woman, in my own opinion, didn't occur to me that they're opposite seasons. <laughs> I didn't, I wouldn't have known that. So I took all of the wrong clothing. Oh, <laughs> I had this big North Face backpack that was as big as me, so I could carry it around full of like tank tops and shorts and <laughs> it's winter. <laughs> I wouldn't have known that. I, listen, that was a rough, yeah. So just, you know, oh, it was an interesting trip. It was just all the things. So, um, yeah. So just, you just have to be like, hmm, okay. And I drank for the first, well, the first time I drank was my 21st birthday and I got really drunk off of six Chernoff ices. And <laughs> I feel like that's like the gateway uh, to Boone's uh, Farms. Um, yeah. And then I drank on my senior crawl and I only made it to the alley by Larry's and passed out <laughs> drinking Zima's. For sure.